Next up is life hack with uh, Erica Smigelski. Um, so the tool that I wanted to share with you is um, is Descript, and it, I use it primarily for uh, my podcast. But even if you don't have a podcast, it's a really rich, incredible tool. So. Um, I figure uh, I'll show you how I use it, and then I will come back to talking about some of the other features because there are so many, and truthfully, as I prepared for this and went and learned some of these other features, I was like, well, I have some work to do here. But um, so I'm going to do this sort of live, and um, I'll start with let's just say you might have a podcast or it could just be that you have a thought. And I think of you Maynard, cause you have many rich thoughts and you might want to vocal and you need to um, voice them in a way that would be really easy to then transcribe and possibly even get into a social post or whatnot. So one way you could do it. So I'm kind of uh, revealing how easy it can be to start a podcast is I use my phone. And I use the voice app on a voice memo. So it looks, um, and I hit record. So this is my fancy portable microphone that I use for my podcast. You could just use it to hit record and capture whatever message you want to deliver. It could be a brilliant idea you have in a moment and you just hit record. And then from the voice app, the voice memo app that looks like this little guy for those that aren't familiar with it, you can share it. And then I share it onto some file drive, whether it's Google Drive, OneDrive. And then from there, I can load it into Descript. And so I did do a small little snippet that I'm going to do a share screen here and pull up Descript so you can see how it looks. So here we go. So this is the desktop version. You can see all my episodes and I'm going to start to minimize some of my windows. So I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to call this um, bacon life hack. And this is going to be an audio clip. And I create this project and now I'm going to go load my little clip. This is what I pre-recorded. Uh, for the audio, and then it's going to load it in here for me. It's saying down here, wait, you guys can see this, right? Can you guys see this? Yep, you're good. Okay, good. I just thought, oh my goodness, what if I'm just rambling and no one's <laughs> able to see this? So in here, I can type my name. It's just me talking, so it's not terribly helpful, but I'm going to come back to this in a couple seconds of the significance of this. But you can see that it's transcribing for me, the audio clip, and it's a short one, so it should load pretty quickly, although I got a message that my resources are low. But while it's um, transcribing, it's going to convert the audio into text. And you can see here's the audio all down here. And what Descript does is it takes all of the expertise needed to slice and cut and fade in and fade out, all that that's normally done down in this um, audio recording and allows you to do it in like a Word doc format. So then it's really easy to go and edit. Um, <laughs> I was afraid this might. Uh, oh, how is the accuracy of transcribing? Because I find a lot of problems with that sometimes. I find so there. This is a great question. So the free version had, and the transcribe that it does, it does. You know, I'd probably say like 80, 85 percent accuracy. Um, you can pay to have a white glove experience for transcribing, and it can be close to. 95% accuracy, I think is what they told. Um, how I use it is I actually type out for my episodes what I want to say, and then I record it. And that's really my transcript. But I use this feature here um, to allow me to edit. So I'm not too particular about the exact transcript here. But if, if others are, you can even edit the transcript right in here to have it capture correctly. So I'm going to come back. 
then let's give this, oh, I'm going to try a different can, way. Can you also put your podcast in the chat when you are, you know, when you have a chance? I would love to check it out. Sure. Let me try this one more time here. Erica, when you say edit, are you editing the audio? Is that what you're talking about for the podcast? Yes. So um, upload queued. <laughs> okay. So when I'm at, when I change it here, I can easily delete. So uh, I did go and create this earlier and I'm kind of kicking myself that I deleted it because I wanted to show you how quick it is. Let me close some resources. Yeah. And Erica, to, to piggyback on Harry's question, um, when you're editing your text, you're actually also editing the audio. Is that correct? So yes. that when you so when you finish, you've I've, I've had the same feature on um, another app called Otter.ai. Um, yeah, There's and you met- you can tell you can listen to so like there might be an unclear person a uh, part of it, so you can play that part when you're right there and then correct the text and it'll correct the audio for you. So here, I'm going to pull up one that this is one of my episodes. So it already transcribed. I loaded the audio. And so I could go in here and I could say, so if I hit um, with my cursor here and I hit play, you can make, you can listen real time. Hey friends, today I'm talking about why it's essential. to. Find- and so I might say like, you know what? I don't need that. Hey friends. And I can just highlight it and hit delete and it changed it down here in the audio. So now when I hit play, I'm talking about why it's a set. It's gone. Um, There is also a feature in here where you can overdub. And I just learned this in preparation for this. And I, um, and I'll show you here. I don't have it set up yet, Um, but it's a way for you to record. They give you a script to record your voice. And then the AI behind it recognizes your voice so that when you're in one of the, um, in one of the um, recordings that you have, you can highlight a word and you can even replace it and just say, instead of uh, kicker, I might say, um, and the benefit, and I could just type right over this and say benefit. And it would, this is allowing me correct because I have not recorded myself to do the overdub, but that could be something you do as well. Erica, when you're doing that, changing words, uh, having some background in uh, editing, uh, do you have a problem with the words not following where it gets kind of choppy because your flow of your tone or your flow of your sentence has been changed when you're editing? So there is ways that you can, yes, And when I do that for video, and I can show you here in a second, is um, you can add in pauses, you can decrease pauses. I wonder if this loaded here. Um, And so what I've done is you can even record on the spot. Like if I just, oh, look, it finally loaded here for me. Um, So I could say that, here, I'm going to play this so you can hear this. This is a test for the bacon demo. So you can see, I was kind of like not, I was doing it on a whim, didn't really have a thought of what I was recording. So you could easily go in here. I'm going to come back to your question. So give me a second. I could say short and word gaps, and it'll automatically go and look where there's those awkward pauses when I'm recording. And I can change it and say, okay, I want it to be only 0.01 seconds and I'm gonna apply it to all. If I had a tendency to go in here and I have a lot of ums, I could go and choose remove filler words and it goes and identify all the ums and I could do again, apply all, or I could pick and choose where I wanna remove it. Cause sometimes you wanna leave them in there to sound more natural. And then to come in here and to your point, um, one question was, you know, I'm going to change this because I am going to use the transcript and I can say that really this needs to be descript. That's how they. And so then the transcript, you can edit in here real time and 
you know, it's still down here as it was recorded. If I had the over overdub, I could change and add it in uh, a new different word. Maybe that's not something I want to use. And then if I wanted to add in, like I could choose what microphone I have and I could add in now real time, like, oh shoot, I forgot to mention about this cool feature of adding in real time. And this can be done on the fly and there it's transcribing. And so I can edit that. And there's a feature in here that you can um, go in and make it sound like studio sound. So it helps blend the, um, the two pieces because I use two different microphones and it sounds like I'm on a professional microphone. I don't have to have the, a, a, a very zooty um, podcast type of microphone to, um, to edit that. It's my default. So I, yep. I'm trying to remember now how I, um, I set that, but that is another really cool feature. And I'm going to come back for the sake of time and show you that you can do recorded video. So this is one, I was doing a how to video. And this is where for the, uh, I didn't catch who was asking the last question is making a lot of edits in here doesn't really flow very well with the video because then the mouth is moving, but the words aren't matching and it just feels odd. So I don't go heavy on the edits in the text here. And so um, now to come full circle to that last question is there could be times that you want to add in a pause and you can easily just add in um, what is the word that they use for it? Um, if you can add in a few seconds of a pause, you can delay or uh, reduce some of the pause. You can drop in um, yep. one of the things about adding in a pause in it is it uses the, um, the AI uses the background noise of your recording so that the pause kind of fills in with the same background noise as when you did the recording. So it's not an awkward pause. So I'm going to pause myself yeah. and just check in with the group and see what other questions there were, um, yeah. if there's other things I can show you.